Hello, hello. Oh, I'm hoping a few people hop on here so I'm not all by myself. So really quick, if you're watching this video on YouTube, my name is Wendy Cranford uh, with loveandstampin.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am celebrating 10 years with Stampin' Up! today. So I'm really excited to show you a few things, have a little chit chat. Uh, we aren't gonna make a project at the moment. I'm just wanting to hop on here and hang out and say hello and show you some really funny stuff and chit chat a little bit. But um, we are celebrating 10 years. If you're watching this on Facebook, it is live at the moment. If you see the little red button in the top corner that says live. If you're watching after the fact, it's no longer live. You're catching the replay. Still would love it if you leave me a comment. And then also, um, if you're watching on YouTube, this video is not live, but I will check the comments to see if you had anything you wanted to share with me or questions or anything like that. So first off, let's just say how thankful I am to be doing this for 10 years, 10, 10 years of my life, I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And um, I have to say it has been a journey. So today is kind of my kickoff celebration and I have a few things to go over. First of all, I'm celebrating for 10 days. So I have 10 giveaways. Those giveaways are going to happen in my VIP group because the people who purchase from me are the reason I am here. The people who are on my team are the reason that I am here. I love and appreciate everybody who follows me, subscribes to me, watches, comments. I do appreciate everybody. But the truth is, if it weren't for the people that place orders with me, and if it weren't for the people that have joined my team, I would not still be with the company and I would not have a thriving, growing business that has allowed not only my family to thrive, but it has allowed me, I feel, to empower other women to do the same thing. And that has been the greatest joy ever. So I have a special VIP group that is only for my team and my customers. And it is customers means anybody who has purchased from me or anybody who takes a class from me. So um, anybody who purchases online Stampin' Up! product or anybody who purchases a class. Um, so those are my customers. So if you fall into that category, you have access to my VIP group and all you have to do is request to join. And there is, if you just Google Wendy's Love and Stampin' VIPs, or not Google it, but search it in um, Facebook, you'll find it there. So let's talk about what my offer is. And I have to actually adjust something really quick. Otherwise, when I hold stuff up, it will be all backwards for you. Okay, so I have this awesome promotion going on, celebrating 10 years, and I have a host code. However, if you place an order and you don't use the host code, it's totally fine, don't worry about it. Um, but anybody who places an order with me between today and December 4th will get 10 yards of ribbon and 10 sheets of six by six designer series paper. See the theme there, 10. Stampin' Up! must have known that today was my 10 year anniversary. So the 10% off sale that Stampin' Up! was offering is still going. I got you Stampin' Up! We're like this. I know you knew you were like, that girl is celebrating her 10 year anniversary. Let's do a 10% off sale just to help her out because we wanna celebrate 10 years of Wendy as a demonstrator. Stampin' Up! don't know nothing. They don't know it's my anniversary today. Okay, so 10 years celebrating from today to December 4th. And then on December 4th, I'm having an amazing event in my VIP group where I will go live and my husband, is going to be joining me. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. I still can't believe he said yes, that he will join me for that. Oh, my mom-in-law is hanging out. Um, so yeah, so that will be my awesome event on December 4th. 
And if you want to be part of that, then you would just have placed an order or taken a class from me at some point. Okay, 10 days of giveaways. So today's giveaway, which we won't do here, it'll be in the group, the VIP group on December 4th. We're going to give all 10 away that day. But look at this one. This is so cute. We've got the Paisley's bundle, the dies, and the stamp set, the A Merry Hello, and then every giveaway includes this super cute little enamel pin. Isn't this cute? I love it. So all 10 of them include that. So that's today's. Um, I know, Joni. So my husband, I, I honestly don't know if people believe that I'm married because um, nobody ever sees my husband. He's like the ghost guy. He um, does not like being on camera. He does not like being the center of attention. He is um, the opposite of me. <laughs> Isn't that how it always works? So um, he will be with me on December 4th in my VIP group live to help me give all these gifts away. And he's also gonna answer some fun questions for us. So anyway, it'll be really fun. And then, so I made this little flyer to show all 10 days of the giveaways. And so we'll choose all of the winners on December 4th. All right, so I thought we would have a little laugh about a few things. First, I have one of the very first cards I ever made. Yes, Joni says he's always off fishing or working. That is true. Um, so the very first card I ever made, I don't have, but this is like probably in the first five cards. And it was actually given back to me by a friend who is a demonstrator, also Katina Martinez. And um, this is what I wrote in the card. Um, Hey girl, okay, I am still trying to get the idea with this stamp stuff. Card didn't turn out fab, but I wanted to say thank you for my birthday gift. XOXO win. So she must have given me a birthday present and in return, I blessed her with this. <gasps> it is so bad, you guys. It is so bad. So look at, the sentiment is crooked. It's not even straight. Um, there's a random bird down in the corner that is just hanging out by himself. I don't even know what he's doing. This was like a border punch and I border punched it and stuck it on the paper. So, you know, feel free to give me the little smiley laughy face button. Feel free, feel free to do that because this is so funny that the, I mean, I've come a minute. I've come a ways from this first card, don't you think? Made with love, let me see, what'd you say? Made with love, no need to be so critical. So it's seriously not like about being critical and hard on myself, it's just funny to like compare the beginning card 10 years ago to what I do now, like I could never imagine. So love hearing all about your family, it's not so bad for a first time. So sweet. She kept it. Yes. It's very sweet. She kept it. Uh, better than my first card. We all have grown in our card making totally. Yes. We all grow in our, I would say I've come along. Yes. I would say I've come a long way too, bunny. Okay. So then this is another, she, um, gave me this gift well, it's cute. It's funny because she never finished it. So she was just like, here's this album because I'm never going to finish it. But her idea behind this was years, she gave me this years ago, was to like kind of um, follow my journey. And so there, um, there's some cute stuff in here though. Look, my first business card. It's not fun. It was like the original Stampin' Up! business card. I don't know if you can see it. So that's funny. My first business card. And then um, the starter kit, the way the starter kit. So all of you that are like, if you have a complaint about the starter kit, let me show you what the starter kit used to be. 
the standard starter kit. It was $175. And you got like specific stuff, three wood mount stamp sets, a clear block, a stamp around wheel. We don't even have those anymore. Um, ink refill, two cardstock packs. And if I remember correctly, they were real red and pumpkin pie maybe. One designer series paper pack, four ink pads. And I do remember it was pink pirouette, Real Red, Pumpkin Pie. I can't remember the, the fourth one, but I do remember the first three. Um, a Versamark ink pad, two Stampin' Write markers, ribbon, dimensionals, a Stampin' Scrub, a Stampin' Mist, Stampin' Sponge, snail adhesive, blender pen, decor elements with an applicator, eight catalogs, and business supplies. How funny is that? So that was the first starter kit or that was it. I'm sorry. That wasn't the first, that was the starter kit when I joined. Um, my mom kept the cards I gave to her. Looking back at them is special. Even the first ones cringe worthy. Um, let's see. My starter kit was $199. Oh, Hey Rose. Rose Ellen is on here. And I believe we were just allowed to change stamp sets for something of the same value and we could change the color of our ink pads. I don't think we could even change the color. We couldn't do that when I, when I joined. It was like, you got what you got. So anyway, that was fun. And then let's see, look at what my craft room used to look like. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get this picture out. Okay, this is my daughter's room now. And this is a photo of what my craft, my very first craft room was. Look at that. There's a table, one of those fold out eight foot tables. I had like a thing for 12 by 12 paper, crates. This was my setup. And then you can see there's another table over here. Oh yeah, oh, here's the other table. Let me show you. How funny is that? So that was my very first craft room. It was a teeny, tiny, tiny space, which I ended up moving back into later after I took over the whole dining room. Then I moved back into this small room. Then I moved out to my office I'm in now. So fun. Okay. What else do I have in here? So this is I'm trying to see. Oh yeah. When I used to hold classes, I don't know if Lori is still on here. Lori was one of my first customers. And this is where we used to do my classes at my dining room table. My dining room doesn't even look like this anymore. So fun. I know you're totally right, Bunny. I could never survive. This was my first craft fair that I ever did. Isn't that pretty? I'm so proud of myself. I set up very nice, I think. So fun. Let me put these back. I wanna make sure I put them back in the same spot so they don't get lost. Um, look at this room. This is my dining room when I first, look at that. That is my dining room. It doesn't, it looks nothing like that now so weird it's so weird um my first time meeting Shelly Gardner she's the co-founder of Stampin' Up look at my hair how crazy is that I think that's my very I'm pretty sure that's my first time meeting her if it's not the first, it's right there next to the first. I'm pretty sure it's the first. I remember her in that outfit. 
Um, look at, here I am with Angie and Patty, which is so funny because pa uh, Angie and I are friends. Now we talk pretty regularly. And back then when I took this photo with her, I was so like starstruck. Like I thought she was the most amazing. She is the, she is amazing, but it's funny how now, um, we're friends. And back then I thought she was just like, I was like, I couldn't believe I was meeting Angie Judah. Isn't that funny? And now we're buddies. She probably wouldn't claim that, but it's true. Um, you love the long hair. Oh, I hated that hair. It was a mess. Here's another one. Okay, this is my first time presenting with Stampin' Up. This was with their 25 year anniversary. Look at that long hair I've got. And the and I am still really good friends with this lady right here, Danielle. I and Sylvia, when I get to see her, she's from Germany. Sylvia is right here. I get to see her every once in a while when we go on Stampin' Up trips. And Julie Kettlewell, who's here at the end. Some of you might know who Julie Kettlewell is. And so I actually have maintained friendships with almost all of these ladies, which is cool. And here's my mentor, me and Miss Rhonda Wade. This is one of the first, when, is, when was this picture taken? 2014. So I had been with the company for four years at that point. Um... Oh, there's me and Miss Lori. She was a huge part of my start with Stampin' Up. Super fun. Hi, Stacy. I was showing a bunch of my first, but this is my first catalog. Look at this thing. I still have all my catalogs from the last 10 years. So there's this one. This is from 2010, 2011. And it is huge. And look at the system they had back then. They had the glass where you put the thing in and you cut to make circles. Isn't that funny? That is so like obsolete now. Yeah. Look at, that's a pretty wreath. Remember this ribbon? Do any of you who have been with Stampin' Up! a long time, you might remember this. Um, this ribbon is so, was so much fun. Thank you, Molly. Aw, Carrie has, my friend Carrie is on here. Um, oh my gosh, there's some cute stuff in this. I'm trying to find like one of my favorite stamp sets or that I remember. I probably didn't order much actually from this first catalog because, um, oh my gosh, I do remember this. Do you guys remember this? Anyone? It's, there was a die that cut these little purses out. So cute. I love that big, thick ribbon with the stripes. It was so cute. There is some cute stuff. Oh my gosh, look at all this. barbecue picnic hey 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 hush sorry you know oh, stop it sorry guys so many cute things um look at these are kind of similar to some of the ones we've had recently Okay, so that is from my first year. And then I'll show you this one really quick, the difference. Look at the difference. This is the following year. This is from 2011, 2012. And look, I've tabbed it all. You can tell, you can totally tell like my business, my business took up people because I went from like just a normal catalog. It's really not even used that much. Like it's in great shape to this one, spiral bound tabs. I like, I took it up a notch. 
a few notches. And look, I wrote all in it. Retired, retired. I wrote what was retiring. How funny. Oh my gosh. This is the catalog I remember. I think I was too new when this catalog was out because I joined in November. Obviously, I'm celebrating today. So it would have been like halfway through the annual catalog. And I honestly didn't start tuning in to do stuff until about six months into being a demonstrator. When I started, I just simply wanted the discount on paper. That's all I cared about. Um, I was an avid crafter. I crafted all the time and I scrapbooked and I wanted consistent paper that would be inexpensive. And so when I figured out the math on the paper, it ended up being like 22 cents a sheet, which was cheaper than Michael's. And one of the whole catalyst to throwing me into Stampin' Up was that I had gone to Michael's to get red paper. I ran out of it and I was working on a project. And so I went back to Michael's to get more red paper from the same slot, from the same company. And it was a totally different color red. And I was like, no, no, ma'am. This is not going to work. I was hot. So... Then my friend Katina and I started searching for like good quality cardstock that we could just order. And so she found Stampin' Up! And um, she turned me on to Stampin' Up! I purchased the starter kit and I started ordering paper at a discount. That is literally why I joined. I was like, I'm just going to get it at a discount. It'll be fine. So then after... A few months, it was February of 2011, I decided to have some friends over to make Valentine's cards and I had never stamped a thing in my life. Never. I had never put ink to paper. I mean, outside of like in third grade when everybody has to stamp stars on something. But outside of that, I had never stamped anything. And so I had friends come over. We made a card for our significant others and we had like a heart... Um, a heart stamp set. I think it was called I Heart Hearts. It might be in this book, as a matter of fact. Let's see if we can find it. And um, I'm going to look really quick while I'm talking. And so people came over. It is in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so um, people came over. We stamped. And a couple of the girls at the event were like, and it Okay, I'm saying event, but it wasn't an event. I was literally like, I will make you dinner. Let's stamp some cards for our significant others. That's how it started. And one of the girls was like, do you have a catalog? Yes, I believe I do. So I went and dug out catalogs and brought them out. And I sold $250 that night. I didn't even try. People just bought stuff. And I was like, time out, hold up, what? And I made $30 that night and I was so excited because at that time we were broke. And when I say broke, I mean no money. I don't mean like people who say they're broke and they have $1,000 in their checking account as their buffer. And if they get below that, they say they're broke. No, I mean broke, okay? If you've ever been broke, you know what I'm saying. So that $30 that I made that night was a big deal. And I was like, hmm. Now, mind you, I had worked a corporate job and nothing significant and fancy. I was like an analyst. And um, I that night, I, or I had quit my job because I had my daughter. And so we were living on beans and rice, people. If you follow Dave Ramsey, you know that reference. Beans and rice. I am not playing with you. We were so broke. And so um, that night I got some orders. I made $30. And I was like, you know what? I, might, I maybe could make my a little business out of this. And I already had a little craft room area set up in our house because... 
we had a spare bedroom and so I was I scrapbooked all the time so I decided to turn on an iPad and video myself making some stuff and the rest is history and so um, along the way I've had a lot of friends and people who have supported me and done kind things for me um, one of the people who's watching right now, she gave me some money at one point to kind of buy some product to get going. I paid her back, of course. And then um, my upline, one day, like, I got this amazing box of stuff in the mail and it had snail adhesive and scissors and like all this stuff to have classes and events and she invested just a small amount in me but she's reaping them benefits now because I've done well so sometimes it pays to invest into somebody you know you never know how it's going to turn out it could turn out good or it could turn out bad but either way um giving and being generous and loving it's always a benefit there's never it's never bad love and kindness are never wasted so um it turned out good for her in the end and it you know and I, I think at like one time at one point in time she sent me an extra big shot because I was running classes and I only had one big shot and I was kind of complaining about having one big shot and how long it was taking and she sent me another big shot so I have been blessed beyond measure with people just helping me here and there along the way. Uh, my mother-in-law, she would watch my daughter for me um, so that I could go to events and do things. And it's been a journey, people. Okay, here is here is that stamp set that I was talking about. Do you guys remember this one? Does any Was anyone around? Hey, Tracy. Was anybody around when... Um, this stamp set was out. So this came in the starter kit when I started. Isn't that funny? And this is the stamp set that we used to stamp all of the cards for, we all just shared it. And we used pink pirouette and real red. Like I only had four ink pads, whatever the starter kit came with, that's all I had. Um, so I have really tried to dedicate my journey to blessing people because I was blessed so much by so many people when I first started. So I try really hard now to be that blessing to other people. So that's always the hope, right? Is that if you get a blessing, then to always pay that blessing forward. And so I have been um, trying to do that. Belinda says she has been a Stampin' Up! customer since 1989. That's amazing, Belinda. You should join. Have you missed out on the discount all these years? Thank you, Carrie. Love the wheels. I kept a few of my faves. Oh, yeah, the wheels. Let's see if there's some in the back. I'll show you what Patricia's talking about. Um, so when I joined, they had these stamps that were like on a wheel, and you would roll it, and it would stamp. I got to tell you, I never, I don't think I ever used mine. Maybe once. I could never keep it straight, and... They just were messy to me. Here they are right here. They were messy to me and I didn't like them at all. I have to be honest. Look at, those were the wheel, the stamp wheels. Isn't that funny? So you would roll it across your ink pad and then roll it across the paper and it would stamp. Oh, you opened a stamp sore. Fun, Belinda. Okay, so... That is, that is my stuff today. But I do have some random acts of kindness that I have received that I want to show you. Now, yesterday I did a live on my Instagram opening up my gift from my sweet friend and helper, Tracy Bish, who lives in Australia. She sent me beautiful Christmas gifts, which I opened early. I don't think she was happy with me, but I did it anyway. And um, here's one of them in case you didn't see the Instagram live. Isn't this gorgeous? So it's a koala and it's a little pot. So I think I'm going to put succulents in this, like a little succulent. And I have to say, I love koalas. And I found out, I don't know, a few years back, don't ever call them koala bears to Aussies, okay? They don't like it. They are not a bear. They are a marsupial. Is that right? And they are koalas. They are not koala bears. 
So us Americans like to call them koala bears. They are not bears, just so you know. And then she also sent me um, some beautiful Christmas towels. And um, I put those in the house already. But look at, she sent me this gorgeous little box with a roux on it and a baby roux. And then inside is this gorgeous ornament with a koala, which I love. It's my dream one day to make it to Australia and go to a zoo or a rescue and hold a koala. Seriously on my list. Anyway, this ornament is gonna get hung up in my tr on my tree that's here in my office because um, I wanna think of Tracy every time I see it. But look at this box. Hold on, I'm putting it back together. So you can see it. Isn't this cute? So beautiful. She is just so talented. And then she made me this card which used one of my most recent color splashes. So she sent me this card and what else did I have? Oh, the, the towels, those are in the house. Okay, but I also have some other stuff. So this is from my cousin, Shannon, who lives in Montana. She sent me, if you watched my most recent YouTube video, at the end of the video, I did a funny, um, I shared a funny video of her two daughters vacuuming each other's hair. So if you have not seen that video, you have to go to my YouTube channel and check it out. Even if you don't wanna watch my project, fast forward all the way to the end and watch the video of the oldest one vacuuming the youngest one's hair. It's hysterical. Anyways, they made this card for me and sent it. Well, for my family, I should say. It's a Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. They get paper pumpkin. So my cousin loves to say she's not crafty. She's such a liar. She is totally crafty, creative, makes beautiful place settings and centerpieces and all this fun stuff. But she always says she's not crafty. She lies. This is her youngest, Mallory. So she sent me photos. Four years old, Miss Mallory. And then there's Miss Kinsley. And I know it's okay to show their photos and the video because I asked permission first. So I would never share that kind of stuff without asking permission. And then this card I received from one of my team members, Marsha Johnson, and it is stunning. Isn't this gorgeous? This is all, this is um, embossed with the Subtles embossing folder, but it looks like she stamped first. And then she did this gorgeous like harvest look. And the sentiment says, give thanks with a grateful heart. The thing I love about Martha's cards is she always does the inside so beautiful. Look. And she stamps the envelope. I mean, she does like hardcore stamping. Okay, this is from, I think I gotta remember right, because of course it's not signed. I know I have, I thought I had the card, I mean the envelope, but I might not. I'm pretty sure this is from Betty, one of my customers. Her name is Betty or BJ. And um, she lives in Jersey. Look how cute this is. And then this slides off, wait for it. And then this opens, all fancy. And then she made, she cut out and colored, I think she colored these, two little doggies on the inside. Doesn't this one kind of look like Truvy? I love it. Cute, cute, cute. So I love this card because she left it blank so I could reuse it. So that's really sweet. That's gonna come in handy, I am sure. Okay, and then I got a thank you card from, I feel so bad because I can hardly read the name. I think it's Billy or Bobby. I don't know who, I don't know which, but here's the card, the thank you card. And then the envelope um, is also stamped on the back and on the front, it's beautiful. This one, is from Rachel Wright, who's on my team, and she is um, battling breast cancer. And I sent her a little gift, and she sent this in return, which just amazes me because 
she's just a warrior, which is what I sent her. I sent her a little dish that said she's a warrior because she is. I've never come across them. She has an amazing attitude, totally positive. And you know what? She just got results that her mass is gone. They can't find it. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, so anyway, I love her dearly. And she sent this card and it is absolutely gorgeous. But the funny thing is I would never expect her to send me a thank you card because she's dealing with enough. Um, oh, this is from my Mary Kay lady. So I, um, she is also, okay. So she's the daughter-in-law of Rhonda Wade, who's my mentor. And I, everything I have on today, Mary Kay, Mary Kay foundation, blush, lipstick, eyebrow stuff, all Mary Kay. Um, she is awesome. So if you need Mary Kay stuff and you like need a person, let me know because I can add you to her Facebook group. So yeah, she does awesome stuff. And then um, she kind of has taught me how to do makeup a little bit. And then this is from Kathy Ty, who's one of my customers. It's not pretty. So she sent me this gorgeous card and look how creative this is. On the inside, she wrote her note and then she only glued it at the top and she scored it. So look, what? So she continued what she wrote on the back and signed it down here. What the? I'm like, that is freaking brilliant. Yes, Joni says, I've been 100% Mary Kay since 2000. They are great products. I love that I can order them online. I love their face wash. I love their stuff. So there's that. Although I do a combo face wash. I use a all natural essential oil face wash in the morning. And then I use my Mary Kay face wash to get all this makeup off my face at night. Um, very creative. Yes, I agree. So those are all my beautiful gifts and random acts of kindness that I have received over the last week and a half or so. And I totally forgot to share all of these. So I wanted to do that now. And then um, these are my 10 giveaways that are happening in my VIP group. So if you want in that group, you do have to either place an order with me, purchase a class, which I do have a December class coming out. It's all birthdays. And we are gonna be using this paper. This paper is from, the, this is celebration paper, people. Not even available yet. But every person who signs up for my December class will get a quarter of a pack of this designer series paper. I've hoarded some of it away from the premier order. So watch out for the sign up for this. And if you aren't already signed up for my emails, you gotta sign up for those because that's where I send all my information out first. Okay, that's it for today. I hope that you all have an amazing, wonderful, blessed Thanksgiving. Even if you, by the way, I'm talking to the Americans right now. Um, even if you like can't go anywhere and you're just staying home and you have a TV tray with a TV dinner, count your blessings. We can always find blessings, always. There's always blessings to be had. So count those and be grateful and please um, be safe and responsible and all the things because I love you and I don't want you to go nowhere. And remember, love and kindness are never wasted. So do something kind for somebody. If you can't find anything else to be blessed for or grateful for, do something kind for somebody else. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Um, thank you for being here to help me celebrate 10 years, the start of my 10 year celebration. It's going for 10 days. I'm celebrating for 10 days. I'll probably hop back online at some point on Friday, Saturday, Sunday ish, something I don't know to say hi and tell you how things are going. We're going to decorate for Christmas this weekend. So I might pop in and share some of that. Um, so if you don't already have notifications turned on for my um, page, then turn notifications on so you're notified when I go live. And if you're watching this afterwards on YouTube on a replay, 
Make sure you subscribe and hit the little notification bell and then you'll know when my videos go up. I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for as long as you have and taking a little stroll down memory lane. I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.